Ransomware strains increase and decrease in popularity, but one type whose usage has been growing in frequency is the infamous Soldino Kibi ransomware. Soldino Kibi ransomware is a malware threat that has gained traction in cyber criminal circles and has taken the place of GANCRAB ransomware after it was discontinued. The criminals that developed GANCRAB offered it as a ransomware as a service and decided to retire it after allegedly raking in $2 billion in ransom payments. Ransomware as a Service, or RAAS, is a type of software as a service or platform as a service where cyber criminals sell to other cyber criminals malware capable of launching ransomware attacks. This ransomware delivery model has taken ransomware attacks to a whole new level. Cyber criminals offer their ransomware as a service from delivery to taking ransom payments for hire as a service or via web platforms, typically for a portion of the ransom gains or a fixed fee. So Dino Kibi ransomware appears to not only be following the same ransomware as a service path, but according to cybersecurity analysts, it may be distributed by the same group of people as GANCRAB. Although Soldino Kibi ransomware is not necessarily a direct continuation of GANCRAB ransomware, there's evidence connecting the two ransomware threats together, such as coding and behavioral similarities. So Dino Kibi ransomware was first detected in April of 2019 when it was used in an attack that exploited a zero-day Oracle WebLogic server vulnerability. The severity of the zero-day exploit couldn't be understated as it allowed the remote execution of code without any of the otherwise required authentication credentials. Oracle issued a patch on April 26 outside of their regular patch cycle to fix it. Through the exploit, the attackers were able to download the Soldino Kibi ransomware payload to the endpoint machines without the need of any user input. Usually ransomware threats require at least some interaction from victims before the infection can begin. Once inside, Soldino Kibi ransomware starts encrypting files with the popular extensions that include .jpg, .gif, .png, .xlsx, and many others. For each infected system, Soldino Kibi ransomware generates a distinct alphanumeric string that can be between five and nine characters long and appends it as a new extension to every successfully encrypted file. The ransomware then creates a text or HTA file with the ransom note in every folder containing encrypted files. Soldino Kibi ransomware is particularly insidious in that this strain of ransomware also has the functionality to prevent users from restoring the encrypted files through the default Windows backup mechanisms. Getting access to your files. Instead of putting their instructions and demands in the body of the ransom note, the cyber criminals behind Soldino Kibi ransomware direct all affected users towards two websites, a .onion site hosted on the TOR network and one on the public part of the internet at the domain decryptor.top. The full text of the note, which shows evidence that it was created by non-English speakers based on issues with grammar and spelling, reads in part, Welcome again. What's happened? Your files are encrypted and currently unavailable. You can check it. All files on you computer has expansion. By the way, everything is possible to recover, restore, but you need to follow our instructions. Otherwise, you can't return your data. Never. If you will not cooperate with our service, for us, it does not matter. But you will lose your time and data because just we have the private key. In practice, time is much more valuable than money. In order to access either of the sites listed in the note, Users have to input a specific key that can be found in the text file of the ransom note. Once the code has been entered, they will be taken to the following landing page that will display the specific extension ID code for the computer system and a countdown timer showing that in two days, the ransom sum will double in size from $2,500 to $5,000 payable in the Bitcoin cryptocurrency. The website recalculates the Bitcoin slash USD rate every three hours and updates the shown numbers. So Dino Kibi ransomware expands its reach. 
Following the patch that shut down the Oracle WebLogic Zero Day, researchers observed variations. An expansion of the methods employed to distribute the Soldino Kiwi ransomware. In fact, nearly all of the possible distribution methods have now been attempted. Most notably, spam email campaigns. When German users were targeted via spam email campaign that carried the Soldino Kiwi ransomware payload in compromised email attachments posing as urgent foreclosure notices. Another email campaign pretended to be a new booking from booking.com. In order to access the supposed booking information, users have to open the attached word file and then allow the execution of macros. Doing so initiates the Soldino Kiwi ransomware infection. There are certain steps that could help all users build a strong defense against the Soldino Kiwi ransomware. One of the most reliable methods is to create a system backup that is stored on a drive that isn't connected to your network. By having access to such a backup, users can simply restore the files that have been taken hostage by the malware with minimal loss of data. In addition, using a legitimate anti-malware program and keeping it up to date could mean that some of the ransomware threats are stopped even before they've had the chance to execute their malicious code. Well, we all realize the havoc that malware can wreak on unsuspecting victims, but what is the government doing to punish hackers that possess the code needed to create new victims? You know, as I think about the dangers that exist online, not unlike the subjects we learned about in this week's show, I know I feel a lot better having an anti-malware program like Spy Hunter installed in my PC. It provides me the protection I need against malware, and I think you should too. Spy Hunter 5's strongest features are found in its malware repair capabilities. Spy Hunter 5's remediation algorithms dive deep into your system to remove and address complex malware issues affecting PCs today. While many anti-malware products only flag and quarantine malware and ultimately fail to remediate the root problem, the Spy Hunter 5 remediation algorithm detects, quarantines, and programmatically repairs malware problems on your PC. Spy Hunter 5 is a powerful PC utility that repairs malware threats in many cases where other competing anti-malware and antivirus programs may fail. To detect and remove malware for free, go to enigmasoftware.com and download Spy Hunter today. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay up to date on all emerging threats, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube page and hit the bell icon to receive alerts whenever new content is posted.